What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top five reasons why you'll make a really good data analyst. Now in a previous video, I talked about the top five reasons why you should not become a data analyst, but I'm not gonna leave it negative. I wanna also talk about the top things that would really make you a great data analyst. And so those are the things that we're gonna talk about today. So let's start off with number one, which is you like solving problems. As a data analyst, you are always gonna be solving problems. Whether those are problems that you've already solved in the past and now there's an issue and you have to solve it again, or there are new problems popping up that you're having to solve as well. An example of this might be that a client is receiving a dashboard or a report that they're checking every week or every month, and all of a sudden the numbers just do not make sense at all. And so they call you up and they say, hey, these numbers don't make sense, help us figure out why. So you have to really dig in and try to figure out what went wrong and then fix it for them so that the product that they're paying for looks good and accurate. Another example might be that you have a data pipeline that brings in data weekly, and all of a sudden your data is just not coming in. So you have to go back and look at the processes and figure out why the data is not coming in so that your processes can work properly and you can get your data. The number two reason why you might make a really good data analyst is that you are organized and structured. As a data analyst, you have to be structured in just about everything that you do. Whether it's handling several projects at a time, creating databases, or writing code, Everything has to be organized and documented so that if you need to hand it off to somebody else, they can easily pick it up from where you left it off. Data analysts might also use some type of version control software or some type of project software that tracks your projects. And so if you enjoy those things and if you are really good at those things, it can really make for a good combination as a data analyst. So if you're really organized and structured and you enjoy those things, it may be very beneficial. And I know that I really like teammates that are organized and structured as well. Number three is you're a self-learner and you enjoy learning new skills. There is always a new skill to learn and there's always a new technology that is coming out that can help you do your job faster. Whether that's taking courses or doing personal projects, a lot of the skills that you're gonna learn that make you a really good data analyst are things that you're gonna learn on your own time. And so if you enjoy learning in your off time and growing your skill sets, that can not only make you more money in the long run, it can also help you become a really good data analyst. Number four is that you're good with people and you enjoy collaborating. As a data analyst, you're working with a lot of people. And honestly, there is a large customer service side of this job that a lot of people don't think about. And whether you're working with your manager, the people on your team, or clients, you are gonna have to put on that customer service hat every so often and be able to work with people. An example of this might be that you're presenting a plan of action to your team on a project that you're moving forward with, or you're working on a project with a client and good people skills go a really long way. And so if that's something that you're really good at and you're good at interacting with not only people on your team, but also clients, that is something that can help you be a really good data analyst. And number five, which I think might be the most important one, is you enjoy building and you enjoy tinkering with code. As much as these soft skills matter as a data analyst, something that really matters is having the technical skills and actually enjoying the technical part. Data analysts are always building, debugging, and making their code better. And so some of the things that you might work on are things like dashboards, data pipelines, databases, views, reports. And honestly, a lot of these times, these processes will break. And when they break, you have to go in, you have to figure it out, you have to fix it. And so somebody who not only enjoys the building, but also the fixing part of it can really be a very good data analyst. I think out of all those, number five is my favorite because if you really enjoy the coding side of things, if you really enjoy the technical side of things, then that will be a really good reason why you make a good data analyst. If you wanna learn more about becoming a data analyst, be sure to check out my channel where I have videos on just about everything related to data analytics. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.